Welcome to the very first video of the module 4. In this lesson, we will going to analyze all the protocols that is most widely used like ICMP, HTTP, TCP, ARP and a lot more. We will also use the wire telephony and the playback. So let's start from the very first that is the ICMP. We will start from using the ICMP because this is the baseline of any network communications. So what I will do is I will capture the ICMP request and the echo back to the system. I will use the ping command to ping the host and then capture the traffic. I hope you already know about uh, how we can capture only the ICMP or a specific protocol or the port number. So what I will do is I will simply put the capture filter that is the ICMP and then I will start the and capture the traffic using the Ethernet or the wireless card. So as of now, the capture has been started. You can see this is the capture from the Wi-Fi device and the capture filter ICMP. It will not capture other than ICMP. So let me start, open the CMD and ping some host. Then once I will ping it, it will capture all the echo back and the responses. As you can see clearly, it has captured only the ICMP request and here is the protocol. So starting from first one, this is the first my computer, this is the source and uh, the packet is here. It is started using the ping request and here is the sequence number that increments and using the TTL that is 128 and it, there is the reply in the packet in 2 and here is the request of packet 1. So now let me analyze the ICMP by going to the packet details pane and here are the details. Okay, uh, so coming from the first packet, uh, this is the first packet and uh, here is the type 8 and the code 0. So let me do it once again. So here is type 8. So we need to go for the type 8. This is the equal request and the code is 0. As you can see, this is the code and the code is 0. So both must be in the same way that is parallel to each other. Like if it is type 7, there is nothing code. If it is type 5, there is four types of code, 0, 1, 2, 3. All have different meanings. So if you see any information and like the type and the code, you can diagnose all the issues that what's happening around the network. If I see type 8, code 0, it means echo request that is used to ping. Now let's see the second one that the destination system reverted back to my computer. This is the second packet. We can see there is the type 0 and code 0. So type 0, that is echo reply and code 0 is used to ping. This is the echo replay. So that this is the how type is used inside the ICMP protocol that all is used for making a ping request and various communications you can see by going to the Wikipedia and learn more about the what happens. Like if you see any errors like destination unreachable or something like that, there will be something different type and the code numbers. Let me show you once again it. There is a total of 8 number of packets. So I will drop it here and let me once again use the CMD and ping something like host that is not reachable or something like that. That is bogus you can say like one. Okay you can see the, the request timeout. And here you can see this is the starting of the packet 8. This is the echo ping request and this is the response. There is only the request as there is no response. So let's analyze the packet details. Here you can see this is the type 8 and the code 0. This is simple as it is a request. There is no response from the target server. So there will be no any other ID. Let me change it to other system. It's also working. We need to have something like 
destination reachable or the TTL value exceeded, time exceeded, something like that. So let me use the trash RT and trash RT use the same IP address. Okay, so now we can see this is trying for the three times and it is finding this. You can see this is the request timeout. It is trying to find the hopes of the google.com and all the routers that is coming and uh, between my system and the google.com. So all the details and the IP addresses of the routers or the endpoints will be here. So that all will be captured inside the Wireshark. Let me leave it. Okay, here you can see this is the time to leave exceeded and in transit. So here is the destination unreachable. Let's see it. Type is 3 and code is 3. That is simply described here that is destination unreachable and the port is unreachable. You do not need to worry about what is the type in. But still in some cases you need to remember the codes or have the reference for the codes. So going back to 3 and 3, let's see what is there destination unreachable and the three is destination port unreachable so it means that there is no nothing port over there that is icmp that may be responding to my system for the time to leave exceeded this is the ttl value exceeded as i hope you already know about the ttl value that exceeds and decrements hope by hope and once it is reaches zero there will be time to ttl exceeded so as you can see, uh, there is the exceeded here and here is the type 11 and the code is 0. Checksum is here that is correct, a status is good, this is verified. Similarly, we can find all the details of the packets from here and all the packet captures will describe a lot more about the each traffic that is what happening. That's why it is called YSRK is uh, like uh, pinpointing even a uh, uh, letter and uh, simply say the nibble of a white that couldn't be even assumed that you can you may find without using the wire shark so all the details are here you can start using the icmp analyze the icmp how it goes you if you have some something like trouble inside your system or the network communications you can use even the wire shark for that purpose and you can troubleshoot or diagnose that